One person's trash is another's treasure. In 2019, plastic waste doubled to 353 million tons. It's often dumped in landfills, burned, or disposed of in uncontrolled waste sites. So what if we could put our plastic waste to good use? From designer chairs to electric vehicles and mobile toilets, plastic waste can be printed into amazing products that are both aesthetically pleasing and useful. What if we could also build homes from it? LA-based startup Azure is 3D printing tiny homes from recycled plastic. More than 60% of the printing material comes from recycled plastic bottles and food packaging. After the house is designed, it only takes 24 hours to print out the unit. Azure claims that its technology can construct buildings 70% faster than conventional industry methods and up to 30% cheaper. The construction industry is the world's largest consumer of raw materials. It is responsible for around one-third of global CO2 emissions because very little gets reused or recycled. Using recycled materials in 3D printing can make it more sustainable. 3D printing is known well, more formally as additive manufacturing, which obviously means instead of taking away, you're adding one layer by one layer by one layer. There is obviously some waste if you have print failures or other things, but it really reduces it because instead of getting rid of the material, you are just building up what you need. Also, less storage space is needed. Instead of warehouses filled with materials, products are created on site and customized directly for consumers. How do I make, I don't know, no, I, I don't know, um, appliances that fit the homeowners or, or the dwellers? How do I make, you know, uh, bath fixtures that, that fit people with different abilities and different needs, okay? You can do this really on the spot, really quickly. 3D printing is fantastic for that. In our world, plastic waste is an unlimited resource. 3D printing could help create housing and accessible sanitation in areas where they are needed most, like refugee settlements and areas of urban squalor. 3D printing of construction works best in a place where it's really difficult to build a house by traditional means, uh, either because uh, the people aren't there to do it uh, the correct people aren't there to do it. The materials to build it uh, in that spot don't exist. So, will this solve the plastic crisis? Sadly, no. A whopping 91% of all plastic isn't recycled at all. Billions of tons of plastic still end up in landfills, in the air and the oceans. When you recycle plastic, it does destroy some of its properties. When you already make the plastic and then you recycle it, you basically need to melt it down again. But as you do this, this deforms it and every single time you recycle it, it's a little yes, less useful. We need more measures to reduce waste and curb the production of virgin plastics. Packaging and clothing have to be produced more sustainably and we need electronic goods to have longer lifespans. A healthy planet needs a circular economy, a system that avoids waste as much as possible and recycles resources into new products. So, what about 3D printing? As of right now, really the, uh, the, the economy, the sustainable business model behind it um, hasn't, uh, hasn't popped up. But I do think its great use will be in really extreme conditions. So places where you would not want to build, but in terms of like common everyday use, probably less likely. What do you think about 3D printing with recycled plastics? Is your dream home made from 3D printed materials? Let us know in the comments.